Let's have a look at another example. This is the graph in part C, which we want to show isn't planar using Kuratowski's theorem. So again, the first question we need to ask ourselves is, is it going to end up being K5 or K33? And that, the way we do that is we examine the properties of this graph. So this graph has six vertices of degree 5 and one vertex of degree 6, okay, the one in the middle. Now, this graph looks a little bit familiar, right? Because it kind of looks like a K6. If I just remove this vertex in the middle without removing the edges incident on that vertex, then it would be precisely a K6. Okay? And we, you know, we can see that K5 is definitely a subgraph of K6, but K33, which has six vertices, is also definitely a subgraph of K6. Okay? The, this graph has seven vertices, which is more than the number of vertices in either of these two graphs. Uh, and the minimum degree in this graph is 5, right? which is a which is more than the minimum, the maximum degree in either of these two graphs. So we can't really tell yet if it's going to be K5 or K33. We've got an inconclusive answer, and we've got to move on uh, with that inconclusive answer. But what we do know is that we need to remove at least one vertex, because if it turns out to be a K5, we need to remove two vertices, but if it turns out to be K3, Three, three, we need to remove one vertex. So we need to remove at least one vertex. So let's start playing around with this by removing one vertex. Okay? So let's give this a go. Let's say I want to remove the vertex in the middle. That's the one that's annoying, that's preventing it from being a K6. So I'm going to remove this vertex in the middle. Okay? But then I've got to remove all of the edges coming out of it. So there should be six of them. This is number two. This is number three. What's the next one? Uh, five and six. Okay. All right. So this is what we're left. So we still don't know if this is going to be K five or K three three. If it's a K five, we need to remove one more uh, vertex. Okay. Now currently we've got six vertices and they all have degree four which is what we need for K5, okay? But if I remove even just an edge, then I'm going to bring down the degree of two of the vertices, right? Which is too many, right? And then all the more if I remove, say, an entire vertex, then I'm going to bring down a lot of the degrees of the vertices to three. So it's not going to be a K5 if the trick is to remove the middle one. So if this ends up being K33, then we don't need to remove any more vertices, we just need to remove edges. So some. This graph has a subgraph, which is K33. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend or suppose that this uh, vertex is in the circle group. Then three of the vertices that it's adjacent to is in the other group, right? It's in the other uh, part, in the other part. So say this one, this one, and this one. And I can pick any of them because the graph is symmetric from the perspective of this vertex. So then the other two have to be in the other uh, part. Okay, so they have to be associated. Okay, now that means that we can't have any edges between the circles. So that means I need to remove this edge and okay, I've set up the circles and I need to remove the edges between the square. So this one and this one. But the, look at what we have left. So we now have this vertex of degree 2. Right? So we remove too many uh, edges. Okay? So there's no way this is going to end up being a K33. Okay? So now we know that removing the middle vertex wasn't the trick. So let's try again. So that means we've got to remove one of the outer vertices. And it doesn't matter which one we remove because the graph is symmetric. So I'm just going to pick my favorite outer vertex, so it's that one. And then I'm going to remove all of the edges that come out of it. So it should have uh, five of them. Two, three, yeah, uh, four, and five. So what do we got left? We've got six vertices 
each having degree, oh, well, not, some of them have degree four. They all have degree four except the one in the middle, which has degree five. Okay, now, when we look at this graph, we can kind of see that this looks a little bit like a redrawing of K33, which we might have seen before. If you think about it, if I take K33 and say take that vertex and pull it out to the other side, then it kind of looks like this, right? So this is one part of the, the vertices, and this is the other uh, set of vertices. Okay, so let's go with that idea for a minute. So let's say this is one part. So these are the circles, and that leaves the other ones to be squares. Okay. Now I've got to remove the edges between the squares. So this one. And the one that is this is a bit easier to see. I need to remove the ones between the circles. And let's see what we have left. We've got a redrawing of K33. I just need to find dragged this vertex over to the other side, we've got K3. All the squares are uh, adjacent to all the circles. So now we know the trick. We've got to remove one of the outer vertices, and we will be left with K3. Oh, then we take remove some vertices, uh, edges, and then we'll be left with K3. So now we can write up the proof. So this graph is the graph we're working with, the graph. Now the first step was to remove one of the outer edges, and in our rough working, we chose F. So the graph of uh, this uh, has a subgraph. So now I just need to copy the same graph, except I've removed vertex F, F and obviously any of the edges coming out of it. the next thing we did? Well, we removed some of the edges so that it became our redrawing of standard K33 drawing. So this has a subgraph, which has a subgraph. So just drawing the vertices first. I already know from my rough working which ones are on which side of the body part type graph. So I'm just going to add in the edges systematically. Okay, and label. So A, B, C, D, E, and G. Okay, and we just redraw this to the standard K through three drawing, okay? Which is isomorphic to. And we do this because we want to show the reader or the marker that we've actually gone and checked that this is actually K33. So uh, we show that we actually know uh, how we partition the vertices. Okay? So just systematically draw in a K33. Okay, and label the vertices. So we've got A, B, and G on one side and C, D, and E on the other side, okay, uh, which is K33. And we write the conclusion. The same conclusion we had before. So therefore, by Kuratowski's theorem, uh, the graph is not planar. As required. Okay, so one thing I should point out is that well, we didn't need homomorphism in this case, right? But this is a subgraph of that, right? We this was only the intermediate step that we needed to sort of see how this proof was going to work. Okay, so we actually once we've done our rough working, we actually don't really need to write this step anymore. Okay, so we could have just gone from here, uh, this is a subgraph of that, and this is K33. Okay, so hopefully now you've got a much better understanding of how we can use Kurtowski's theorem to show that a graph isn't planar.